I built here. I'm just giving you a final update on the uh, parasite cleanse that I did this past week, the eight-day uh, herbal parasite purge, I think we called it. <laughs> um, yeah, I finished it up on Friday. This is, no, I finished it up on Thursday night. This is Saturday afternoon, so about a day and a half ago I finished it up, and uh, yeah, so I finished it on Thanksgiving. I didn't plan that out too well, did I? Um, so I, I uh, think I described in uh, my halfway through update that I early on saw, you know, a couple parasites here and there, and then it increased more and more, and then I think it was somewhere around the third or fourth day that it peaked that it, you know that I saw the most. Um, and then it kind of tapered off gradually, and uh, I'm actually still seeing a couple, you know, even though I finished it um, about a day and a half ago. So, you know, there's still some dying off. And also, um, I saw some other things besides worms. I saw, I'm not sure what they were yet. I haven't looked into it. Um, I would say a lot of these things were really small. I would say anything from the size of a, uh, like a little seed, you know, like I would say anything from the size of a sesame seed right up to maybe the size of a almond almost, I would say, you know, and and these weren't worms, these were, I don't know what they were, um, so if anybody else out there has ever seen anything, you know, like that or, or knows what they are, please comment below. Uh, you know, they were shaped kind of oval shaped like a, you know, just looked like I ate a handful of seeds of different sizes and they went through me with, that's not what it was, it was some kind of parasites. Um, so yeah, I think it went, uh, I think it was pretty successful, it went pretty well other than the taste of that stuff, that's, you know, that's, you got to get a strong stomach for that stuff. Um, but yeah, it went pretty well and I think it's something that I'm going to be doing again, I'm, you know, I'm going to think about it. It might be something I do every few months or, you know, at least a couple times a year. Like I said, you know, back in the day, a lot of people used to deworm the whole family, I think, twice a year. And uh, it seems like this country's you know, gotten away from that. And a lot of people, you know, don't want to think about it. They, they don't think we have parasites and that's, that's wrong. You know, I've heard some of the parasite experts say that, um, you know, you don't have to go to a underdeveloped country or anything like that or, you know, drink water, you know, somewhere or eat sushi or whatever. The, of course, those things, they won't help matters and they'll definitely, uh, you know, help you get parasites and, and uh, even being around, you know, some animals and, you know, things like that. You know. So we have it in this country. I've heard uh, parasite experts say, you know, if you're breathing, you have them, you know, so basically... Um, we all have them, and uh, of course, us people with chronic illness, Lyme, and other chronic illnesses, some things can be, um, I guess you could say, opportunistic. They can kind of take over. So I think that might be one explanation for why a lot of these things might take over more in someone with Lyme disease than than other people. Uh, just like other things can come out, you know, different viruses and different, uh, you know, bacteria can surface whenever your immune system is shot from Lyme and other stuff like this so so yeah I think it went well and uh, I will definitely be doing it again and for anybody I think I had a couple uh, people ask for the recipe and I think I in the first video I put the uh, what's in it but I'll I'll maybe I'll uh, update that and uh, put the full recipe and instructions in there for you if anybody else is uh, brave enough to try this um, so yeah, I'll do that. So thanks for watching and, and thanks for all your support and encouragement. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks.